I'm going to show you guys two methods to add a black screen to timeline in Final Cut Pro. The first method actually involves us going over here to the titles area. If you don't see this bar over here, you simply just need to click on it twice and it will appear. We're going to ignore the titles for a moment though, okay? So we're just going to press that to make them all go down like that. Alternatively, you could just scroll down because we want a generator, okay? Now you may have more or less generator depending on what plugins you have installed in Final Cut Pro. But we simply just need solids. Solids comes with Final Cut Pro, so you don't have to worry, it's not a special plugin. Then over here to custom, we're just going to drag it here and then we can actually change the color to whatever color we want. But by default, it's black and that's what we want. So we'll leave it black. And since it's a generator, we can make it as long or as short as we want. And as for the second method, it's just about as easy as the first method. Select your timeline. Pay attention to where you have the cursor, okay? Because that's what would determine it. When I put the timeline thing here, then when I go up to edit, right next to file, and then we're going to insert generator, insert, insert gap. That's a gap clip right there. Alternatively, you can actually hit options W is the default shortcut to add a gap clip. Now this gap, you can actually make as big or as small as you want, just like with the generator. And the, But the thing is, this gap will, when you render it out, make it completely black. You can't change the color of the gap or anything like that. You can place stuff over it all you want, but just once you have the gap there, you have the gap there. If you decide you don't want it anymore, it's just a matter of deleting it. And yeah, there we go. Hopefully one of these methods help you in some way shape or form I personally recommend the first method because it actually it may not be as quick because of the fact that you can add a gap via the second method with just the shortcut keys but it lets you have slightly more options it actually lets you change the color like if you don't need the black anymore say you need green or whatever you can actually change the colors and whatnot but yeah hopefully this has helped you in some way shape or form and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later mm -hmm.